Hey guys, what up? Welcome to this new uh, tutorial series. This is the first one I've done in a little while, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this thing going. Um, what we're going to be using is uh, Django 1.9, which is the latest version of Django out there right now. Um, and in order to get Django running, um, you actually have to have Python installed, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to use the latest version of Python. And uh, just a bit of a background about Django in case you've never used it before. It's a great web framework uh, that's available. Uh, it's open source, meaning that it was actually not owned by one. It's not owned by one particular company or anything like that. Uh, the Django Software Foundation is uh, basically an, an organization, so it's a nonprofit, uh, and they control the corporate direction of uh, the Django project. And it's been around since about 2005. So the history of it is that it was originally a newspaper company um, that was building an online website for, like, a, you know, Washington Post type of site. And uh, they originally created this Django web framework, writing it out of the Python programming language. Um, within a couple of years, they went ahead and they open sourced it, so they just turned the project over to the community to continue to build and advance it. So that's what we've seen um, since about 2000, I guess, seven or so. I'm, gu I'm guessing on that figure. You, if you're really that interested, go ahead and look it up. But I think it's uh, approximately uh, pretty close there. So uh, once the open source community took hold of it they uh, they really expanded it over the years um, Django's grown uh, into quite a large web framework so uh, it compares to if you've ever heard of other frameworks like Ruby on Rails um, or ASP.NET so Django is in the same realm as uh, both of those a reason why you would want to use uh, Django is that there's a couple of uh, really major websites out there that are actually written uh, in Django, one being Instagram.com, their entire stack is uh, Django. Next one would be uh, Pinterest.com, and uh, Pinterest is at one point they were the fastest growing website in the world, so their entire stack is Django. If you've ever seen uh, Discuss, which is um, commonly on like uh, you know blogs and stuff like that, where you have commenting and everything, they they actually scaled to over seven billion monthly views on a Django stack so you know be that uh, you know so saying that um, you know, there's criticisms out there people are like well maybe I want to use Ruby or I want to use Node, Node's faster uh, or ASP, C Sharp, Python's interpreted and you'll hear all these different you know catchphrases about why Python may not be the best choice but uh, the fact of the matter is I have several videos on why Python is one of the most uh, popular languages to learn um, in addition to that, if you look at uh, like Indeed.com trends for Django jobs, Django has been exploding um, for quite some time. Rails is going to have it beat when it comes to overall jobs, but Python is still on the, the up and up when it comes to um, popularity. If you look at the actual uh, growth figures, you can see the Django in blue here is actually like exploding in growth compared to, to Rails. So Rails is kind of just, you know, they, they kind of peaked a few years ago and Django is you know really on the up and up. So if you look at um you know just Django by itself as far as its growth um it, it continues to just kind of skyrocket since it was open sourced around 2008. Now those are just a few of the the top sites that I mentioned that are running a Django stack but there's literally hundreds of them um and some major companies out there like National Geographic, The Onion, um just a, a ton of different Django sites out there. So a good reason to learn it is not just because it's good for your project but also because that if you're good enough at it that there's a large community for it and that there's also a lot of jobs available for it and it's you know it continues to see popularity increases I just recently did a video where I compared Django to Node I spent a few months building a Node framework and I basically came to the conclusion that on a website that I'm trying to create where I'm basically just trying to display information from a database there's absolutely absolutely no reason why I would want to use Node over Django. Um, Django has a built-in ad administration um, so th this is something that wouldn't come out of the box with a node background or a node uh, a node framework. Um, the Django admin is a pretty popular item. It's actually been since like 2006 included with uh, Django and it's 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 a huge selling point so ultimately uh, I wish I had some I can actually show you guys website that I have and, and the, this website is actually going to be taken down 
and uh, and redone. But here's this admin administration system that I was telling you about, where you know you can actually monitor all of the uh, all of the items in your database. So if you look at something like this, these are all movies inside of a you know movie database. And when I go in here, you can see all kinds of information. A lot of it's missing um, depending on the the movie. But like here's a movie that I know I'd have a lot of information about. So you go in here and I, you can just visualize your data. So you know, having an administration system is extremely important. Um, one of the most important things is that when you look at like the users, these are all registered users of the site. And um, certain users have uh, different privileges, right? So you click on a user. Um, this person really has no privileges, but you can assign it certain privileges and things like that. All of that works out of the box. So something like that is really invaluable for what most websites need. Typically, you need to have something where you can ma you manage somebody's privileges and stuff like that. I spent several months as a programmer for five years now um, with quite a bit of JavaScript experience, but I, I spent several months writing a Node.js uh, website where I was actually writing that authentication code and all that stuff. And eventually I got to the point point. I said, well, what the hell am I doing? Why am I going to do that when I can just go with Django? So um, I'm going back to Django and I'm going to build the website and this whole tutorial series is around why uh, you want to use Django, how to use it, and we're going to start with uh, 1.9 and we're gonna go from there what the fuck was that um so anyway we're gonna start with uh 1.9 and uh work our way up so this is the video of why you want to get on django django is an awesome framework and we're gonna get started so uh, just continue to follow me in the next video guys thanks for watching and have a good day bye